Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to attract the fish to the boat by making some chum. Two ways of doing that is you can chum from the top down by putting chum in a bag and dragging it behind the boat. Some fishermen, especially in southwest Florida and Key West, prefer chumming from the bottom up. And that's what we're going to show you today. We're going to make some sand balls with chum. And there's a couple ways to doing that by making, starting out with making the chum. You can take, this is a sardine. You can take bait fish, uh, the oily, the bloodier, the better. Now, you can take a, a grinder, like such, take your fish. Now this rear one's pretty frozen, so we're going to see how this works. And we're going to just stick it in there. And we're going to just grind them up. See, the mess is... Just imagine how messy that this would be if this wasn't a frozen fish. And that's going to make some really nice, really nice chunk. Now, if Joe was here, and he's not, uh, what he would suggest is to, to use the the bait fish. However, you can go to the local store and buy some frozen chum. And what I've done is I let this sit out over the uh, evening and let it thaw out. And we're going to open this up and we're going to put it inside a bucket. Look over here inside the bucket. Look inside the bucket. You can see that this is a, a real messy mixture. Very similar to what we have here. And I can tell you it doesn't smell very good. But this is what's going to attract the bait fish. Now, when we mix this up, we're going to mix it up with a little bit of breadcrumbs and oatmeal. Just take some little bit of breadcrumbs in there and mix that up. some oatmeal and this will attract some of your small bait fish. Okay, now when you're mixing this up with the oatmeal and the uh, breadcrumbs and the uh, chum, you want to mix this up with like one part chum, one part sand. And we have some masonry sand here. We're going to mix that in there. And it's not going to be enough, but we're going to, as we go along, add more and more to it. And get this to a consistency where everything's all mixed together and all mushed up and then we're going to make these into to balls. Okay, so you mix your sand up, put a little bit more sand in here. We have a, still a little bit sandy, so we want to mix this up so that the sand is all nice and if you have to, put a little bit of liquid in there. If it gets a little bit dry, you can do that, but you don't want to put too much. But you need this to be able to stick together. Okay, as we're mixing this up, we're going to add a little bit of water. Just to 
We're just trying to make it so that it's it's gooey and sticky and we can mash it into almost like a meatball. And then we're going to take a little bit of our secret weapon. This is some fish oil from some various uh, species, some bunker and uh, some other oily fish. And we're going to just mix that in there and that will almost do the trick all by itself. Okay, you can see now it's starting to it's not as dry as it was and we can basically mold this right now into into balls. We probably need just a little bit more sand because what we want to do with the sand is we want to make this uh, heavy so that when we drop it off the side of the boat it's going to sink. So we're going to just, we don't want to put too much in there but just enough that's going to give it a little bit of of weight to it. Let's send it down the bottom. When we put too much sand in there and it starts to get dry and then it's hard to get the consistency to make our meatballs. Okay, so there you have it. We made some uh, sand balls and these are extremely heavy. We had five pounds of chum and we probably have about eight pounds, maybe nine pounds of these uh, chum balls made out of uh, oatmeal, sand, um, some chum that we bought from the store where you can make your own, a um, little bit of breadcrumbs and some special oils and you're good to go. Now all we have to do is freeze these and we'll show you what these look like when they're frozen. And in our next episode, we're going to take these out on a fishing trip at the reef, and we're going to drop these down, and we're going to show you how they work.